Democrats. Good afternoon, Democrats. How's everybody doing? Sarah Riggs, Sabico, was speaking. Uh, she's uh, powerful, isn't she? Yeah. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are at a crucial moment in the annals of history for this nation. We've got a president who is barnstorming through Europe, creating chaos, and showing what a complete idiot and fool that he is. president is over in Europe attacking female leadership. Germany, Angela Merkel, dogged her out first part of his visit. Last part of his visit, he has just stabbed uh, uh, you, the UK Prime Minister Theresa May in the back, our closest uh, ally. It's not all women, by the way, John Barrow. <laughs> Let's give John Barrow. <laughs> but, um, you know, so he's done all of that, putting our national security at risk while conducting a, a, a trade war on multi fronts, which uh, challenges uh, the uh, economy of the U.S. and the world because uh, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's just out there playing I have Steve a Bannon and all of these. Uh, right-wing racist uh, nationalists uh, across the, the country and across the world and so uh, appointing a, 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 a guy for the US Supreme Court the first thing out of his mouth is that this was the greatest uh, uh, most uh, intensive effort to find a, a nominee Thank you so much, President Trump, for this effort that you have taken. First things out of his mouth, he's trying to play up to the president. Exactly. Just like Sean Spicer tried to play up to him, talking about this is the biggest uh, uh, crowd uh, for uh, you know an inauguration in the history of mankind. Uh, everybody who Donald Trump touches tries to uh, play up to it, to his ego. We don't need a U.S. Supreme Court justice to do that. You know, so we've got to stop this guy. we got to stop this nomination. Now, it appears that there's really no way that Democrats can do it because uh, they got the numbers on the Senate side. But they were once talking about repealing and replacing the Affordable Care Act, and we stopped that. They said it couldn't be done with uh, Republicans in control of the House, the Senate, the presidency, and they couldn't stop, repeal, and replace. But we stopped that, ladies and gentlemen, even though they're doing, they're doing everything they can to continue to undercut it and weaken it. But we stopped them from repealing it. They didn't have anything to replace it with. So what I'm talking about is the power of the people power of the people. And so we've stopped Trump. We, we must stop this Supreme Court effort. And we must move forward with our candidates to elect them to positions of authority so that after November 6, we will have a check and a balance on this president on the federal level, but on the state level as well. States are where the action is now. And so I'm so proud of of our party, which under the leadership of the Rose Porter has brought us to the point where one of the premier state parties in the United States of America. And they're going to spend money. The National Party is funneling money to the state to make sure that we get the job done in Georgia. So all we have to do, ladies and gentlemen, is to stay united. You know, we can't let the Russians break us up. Russians tried to play the Bernie Sanders camp against the Hillary Clinton camp. 
that's what we're seeing from this indictment that uh, came out yesterday. If you take the time to read through it and look through the lines, you'll see exactly what the Russians were up to during our convention, during our, DNA, our national convention in 2016. So don't let them weaken us by dividing us. We have to stand together. Let's get the job done on November 6th, and then we will have adequate opportunity to strengthen ourselves in terms of how we're going to be looking down the line. We'll deal with that then. Our first order of business is to stand together with our party under the leadership of DuPont's Porter and win this election from the top of the ticket all the way down. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad to be here. Stand